Nah, no problem. Must respect. All right, hold on. Let me go here. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's go live. Let me make sure it's okay. go here. Let me make sure it's bingo. Here. All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Lunchtime. No, it's not lunchtime. It's go time. Uh, Rabu Gary here with my cousin Sadiq. Um, I am so, so very happy to, you know, the last, last interview I just did was a, you know, family member. Now it's a family member. And we love everybody. You know, we love everybody as part of UIGI. But, you know, when you have history with people and, you know, because typically when it comes to things that people are sharing with people, some of the last people to get involved with you are your family. You know, and the people you know. It's the people you don't know, you know, who get True involved that. with you. You know True what I mean? That. True that. You know, some of your closest friends and family, while they love you dearly, sometimes they don't want you to do better than them. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I don't know where that comes from. I have no idea where that lack mentality comes from. But, yeah. you know, yeah. it's always a joy and pleasure where I get a chance to recognize and, you know, interview a family member. So, hey, man, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, man. How's sunny Florida treating me? It's treating me good, man. It's hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the humidity will kill you, man. <laughs> but I love it. it. I can't I do it. the cold, so it, it beats that, man. I'm, I'm winning. I'm yeah. winning. You know, we were just down in Tampa. Um, we had a good time. Uh, we we uh, we 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 think we found us a spot in St. Petersburg. St. St. Peter's, right? Is it St. Petersburg? No, St. Petersburg. You had it right. Yeah, yeah, we got a spot on the water, you know. Okay. We think we're looking, so it's uh we're happy. Good, yeah, good. It might be our forever home. Good. Good. Says. good, good, yeah, yeah. My VA, the VA, my VA doctor's in St. Petersburg. Okay. You know, so I go up there. I used to go up there, it's like a two, two and a half hour drive for me, but now everything's being done by Zoom. So a lot of times I just do Zoom. But St. Petersburg is nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Tampa's nice too. I'm looking at Tampa. But uh, um, now with the interest rates going on, I locked in on this house at 2.5. For me to move, you know, yeah. and then deal with the high interest rate, I would have to pay this off first. If I paid this off and was clear, then I would, you know, because Tampa's is a lot more mosques, a lot more, you know, a lot more stuff that I love to do than here. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, wow. But hey, man, I'm, I'm excited about having the opportunity, you know, to interview you. Um, congratulations. Thank from you. Being Thank one you. of the newest UIGI ring earners, you spoke into existence when we were in Orlando. That's right. <laughs> you came out as, you know, pretty much a guest and uh, got involved in less than a year. Bam. Yeah. 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 You know, it's, yeah. it's incredible. So, so, so I know who you are, but uh, what I'd love for you to do is um, introduce yourself to the folks who are watching here. Um, let them know, you know, your background, what you've done for a living. I know you've, you've traveled the world with studies. Um, it's always an honor and ple pleasure to talk to you, um, but let the folks know who you are, family, so on and so forth, and then we'll jump right into this interview. Okay. Um, who am I? <laughs> yeah. Um, I did uh, seven years in the Marine Corps, right, and uh, went through some situations, trials, and things of that nature. I got out to Marine Corps, and... Uh, uh, started selling, I'm going to jump, jump around, started selling oils and incense and stuff like that for myself. You know, it was hard. Crazy enough, I put my life on the line and got out to Marine Corps and it was hard to get a decent job, man, you know, because um, I had moved down to, um, to South Carolina and uh, um, married my first wife. Oh, darling, just came in. Married my first wife and uh, um, couldn't get a job, man. I got a job working in a, in a, in a um, poor folks, a restaurant where black people had to stay in, in the back. <laughs> you know, wow. it wasn't a lot of fun, you know. Uh, but I, I got through that, came back up to New York, started selling my oils and incense, and I did that for 20 plus years. You know, um, it was pretty good for me. You know, um, it was rewarding. Got to meet a lot of people, got to talk to a lot of people, educate some kids. You know, um, I mentored a lot of kids in New York. You know, every year I would take them out of the city and take them to places like uh, 
in Pennsylvania, you know, let them milk the cows and stuff like that and take them to museums. And two of them became my god kids, you know. And they, you know, I'm still in touch with them. Everybody's grown now, they got their own families, you know. Um, so I went back to school, I got my bachelor's, and then I got a master's in um general ed, general ed and special ed. And as you said, I went to a university in Sudan, lived there for two years, you know, uh, got my degree. Let them know what Sudan is. Let them know where Sudan is and okay. what continent it's on. Okay, Sudan is in Africa, um, right, right next to Egypt, North Africa. Um, uh, people are beautiful. It's beautiful. People are kind. You know, it, it took a while for me to get used to it because they trust him. And I'm from New York, man. New York, you don't trust nobody. <laughs> it's too tough if you don't know, them, right? You know, and so stranger would come by and they would say, you know, come in, come in, have a cup of tea. They lay in my bed, whatever. And we'd be strangers, but I found out there's no such thing as strangers in Sudan. You know, the people are loving and kind and, you know, um, helped me out tremendously, you know, um, helped me with my Arabic. For me, what's important and talking about Orlando, with environment is everything for me, right? I, I have to be in the environment, right? So for instance, the Orlando thing, when you put that up just before you started inviting people other than uh, on the ring or whatever have you, I was getting ready to call you and ask you, can outside people come? And then you posted and said, yeah, we having people come. And I'm two hours from Orlando. So me and Darlene jumped, you know, and went there. And I needed that. I needed that. I needed the energy. I needed to get the feel, right? So I tried to get to whoever I could get to just to get a feel, you know? Um, and a lot of people had similar stories, even you. You know, you talked about uh, um, uh, um, Shannon. And, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, listen, I watch it every day. Oh, skip right? skip Shannon. Shannon. I watch it every day. You know, uh, um, school teachers, right? I told you I got my master's in that and uh, veterans. And I'm a veteran, you know? And so I said, okay. So I started feeling more at home, right? Hmm. Like a true family, right? You know? Hmm. And then the biggest thing, the biggest thing is that when I went to your house and we was trying to figure out who could be the one to lead me, to guide me, right? And you said, Bobby, you so said, you said, I think Bobby would be good for him. But right? I said, that's funny, two Bobbies, right? <laughs> you know, let, let me tell you, I heard earlier, I listened to the brother earlier talking about Marcus and, 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 and I get it. You know, everybody probably had their experiences, you know, with who led them and guided them. Bobby is the man, right? For me, right? Because he would, but this, 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 he's off the chart, man. He, I, I really believe that, I found a friend, okay? And we don't say that often and easy, especially from where we're from, right? We don't, you know, he was at the hospital and his granddaughter was having surgery. He called me from the hospital to help me out with a phase, right? At the hospital, man, I said, that's over and beyond. You know what I mean? You know, um, we talked so much, his granddaughter, Ellie Mae, <laughs> <laughs> picks up, she says, can I call some dig? Let's call some dig, let's call some dig. And he said, wow. we're not calling some dig right now. She got a play phone. She picks up a play phone and she's talking to me on her play phone, three years old. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> so it's, this journey has been great, man. Great, you know, and, and um, I'm, I'm glad that I got to, get to go to Orlando. I'm glad that I put it out there for the ring. I, I meant it, I wanted it, it was a chase. It, it wasn't easy. Right. Wasn't easy. Darlene was so glad when we reached the point. She said, you got it now. We got it now, right? So now we can start getting back to normal. Because Bobby, Bobby, we'd be on the phone late at night. We actually don't went to bed. <laughs> so it's been great, man. It, it's been great. So yeah, that's that's me, man. That's that's who I am. Um, looking forward to maybe doing a PhD. Um, got hesitant because I'm not an online guy. You know, uh, I'm not a computer guy. That's been a struggle for me because I'm not a computer guy, you know, but I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, Bobby said, we did this a thousand times today. <laughs> 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 yeah, so he's been great, man. It's been great. Yeah. Wow. I love this. I love this. And and for those who don't know, 
Um, Sadiq is referencing Bobby Blackburn, one of our first ring earners with UIGI. He's one of our moderators as well. He's just he's just an incredible man. You know, we love Bobby, and I'm glad the two of you connected and have developed a friendship. And it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. And you know, even from for what it's worth from two different sects as it pertains to how you look at God, you know, but both right. of y'all look at God as being God, but from right. a religious standpoint, I think Bobby's right. Christian, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah. and yeah. you're a Muslim, right? you know? And y'all right. y'all click like like y'all been friends forever. That's right, you know? that's right. And I think people can learn a lot from that in the world. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, wow, so this is good, this is good. I'm excited for you. Um, Again, everything you've put your mind on, put your, your focus on, you've achieved it here in UIGI, and it's going to be nothing but even more stuff. Um, I, I know that to be true. You know, can't wait. Uh, you're, you're going to be in Cancun, right? That's right. Can't wait That's to right. see you in Cancun. We're going to have a good old time there. Looking you know, forward to it. get a chance to talk, you know. She, she, she know a little bit of Arabic herself, so y'all get a chance to kick it and stuff. And uh, cool. it, it's going to be cool. It's yeah. going to be cool. Yeah. Wow. Looking forward to it, man. This this is amazing. And so so you pr pretty much retired, you know, as you said, and some people got to hear this. You say you're not the best at computers, but you've hit the prestigious millionaire ring in UIGI. You know, that's a big deal because that's talking to somebody out there right now who says, can I really do this? You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. With the right yeah. guidance, they could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you said it best early on when you said that you used to say, and I think you still say it uh, often, that um, if you don't know, I'll get somebody to guide you, literally take you by your hand and guide you. So I can't take credit for, for this, you know, uh, some uh, for showing up, but that's maybe about it. Again, uh, uh, without Bobby, this could not have been done, you know, without, without his patience and his guidance, because, you know, uh, I'm a guy that asks a lot of questions and, and sometimes I'm repetitive, you know, um, and that's for me, what I had to do for me at times, you know, and and uh, um, he was patient, like I just was joking and it's not, I was joking, but it's for real, we did this a thousand times a day, you know, <laughs> and and so I, but I have to give a lot of credit to, to, to Bobby for, uh, uh, for for guiding me and, and, and helping me and to you for introducing me to Bobby, you know. Um, wow, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So, so here's a magic question. Um, how did you find out about UIGI? You know, because I never know the answer. Some people say, I got an email, I saw something online. How'd you find out about us? Well, I felt you was going to ask me that question. <laughs> um, you kept popping up on my page. And I, and, 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 and I didn't know that we was Facebook friends or anything. I, I didn't, you know, but you kept popping up until one day I asked our cousin Loretta, Right, um, may God be pleased with us. He's no longer with us. But I said, "What's Rabu doing now?" And you probably don't remember this: is is that we was on a family reunion one time, and you was doing prepaid legal. Yeah. At the time, I was in prepaid legal, but I was number one for network marketing and stuff like that, or whatever. So you told me, you said, "Yeah, I'll take you and put you on one of my teams, or something like that." You told me, right? And I was like. I said, we're on a family reunion, and this guy's on the phone dealing with Mark. It was too much, man. Yo, I was always working. Yeah. So I said, man, you know. But uh, 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 so you kept popping up on my page, popping up on my page. So finally, I called her better. She gave me your number and stuff. And I didn't realize I, I already had your number, right? I found a prepaid legal card, right? You had gave me one of your cards. I still got a bunch of mine, right? But uh, uh, um, so I was a little bit hesitant still. I waited a while or whatever until finally, I think what hit it was the Orlando deal. I think it was like, okay, this is right here. Baby, we got we have a, a, a timeshare, Darlene and I there. So I said, let's book the timeshare for the weekend and let's go up and check this out or whatever. So I think that's, that's what really uh, pulled me to there. And then after that, it was all gravy. After I heard people say they didn't know about crypto, they didn't know me and Donnie looked at each other and like they didn't, know. it was the same like me, right? I was like, okay, <laughs> and they did it. And I went up to you in the front. I said, I'm getting my ring next year. <laughs> it said, okay. I believe so, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so that's how I found out about it. You just, you stayed on the page and then I got in touch with family or whatever. And, you know, and from there, it just rolls on. You know, you know what? It's, it's important that you said that when you came up to me and said you get your ring, I always believe people because I remember when I was in the company and I would go to Lee's and say, I'm going to do such and such. 
And they're looking at me like, uh-huh, because they heard it before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So when someone comes to me and say that they're going to hit an achievement based on the way I set goals, uh-huh. if a person if a person could set goals a tenth of the way I set goals, they'll achieve everything they want. Yeah. You know, yeah, so I, when yeah. you said that, I believed you straight up. And I knew you was going to be a ringer. And I told you, I was like, he's going to get that door ring. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And, and I, I just showed you before we started, they just came in the mail. I can't even tell you guys how much these cost, but it's bags, it's rings in here. Yeah. Oh, I see Miss Crump yeah. name on there. Yeah. Rings yeah. In here, y'all. It's rings in this bag. It's yeah. rings in this bag. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they're going to let me get through customs with these bad boys because I took them in Orlando. But we're oh, going yeah. to Mexico. Yeah. So yeah. I, I might have to claim them or something, or maybe I put a little some of the girls' bags. Some of everybody bad, but if the girls lose the ring, we'd be in trouble. So I figured out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They always ask you what you're bringing into the country. Yeah, Shit. that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. It Dang, does. I didn't think about that. I might have to call ahead. Call my friends who are in the feds to figure this out. Yeah. yeah. Good thing I'm good friends with Mexico. I ain't never said nothing bad about them. So <laughs> I think I'll be all right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And as you know, you know, the rings appraise. At uh twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, it went up. It went, it went up. up. Yeah, yeah. thousand. We got our rings. So yeah, gold is going up. So think about that. It's an it's it was an it's an investment for people who received the ring. You yeah. know, yeah. and you didn't have to. Did you have to sell anything to get this ring? No, sir. Did you have to promote a product or service? No, sir. All you had to do is make money for yourself, for your family, and diversify. That's it. That's it. That's wow. It. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, so this is cool. You've talked about the environment. You talked about what drew you into the culture, you know, like minds and stuff like that, which is very, very important. Um, one third rule. Let's talk about the one third rule, you know, how, how, and, and, it's, and I get 100 different answers every time I ask it, but how does it work for you as far as it applying? Okay. So um, I haven't worked the one third rule yet. Okay. Right? Uh, 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 Darlene and I agreed that once we got the ring and got settled, then we would start working the one third rule because I, I haven't pulled any money out, basically, right? Um, every phase, see, this is the thing with working with Bobby too. You know, he says he, he's got to get into every phase, right? Because he's a moderator, right? So he'll call me and says, Well, who came up with another phase? Well, I don't so, come up with nothing. Y'all come up with them. Well, I just listen well you know, the, the, the word is coming from you. Well, you know, well, the, right. The okay. Phase, right. So, so, so I say, okay, what is it? He says, yeah, well, it's, you know, such and such and such and such. I say, sign me up. So, <laughs> so, so, and, and the, the ring qualifications changed a couple of times or whatever. Yes. So, in order for me to hang in there the way that I wanted to, uh, um, let me back up a minute. Uh, I remember when I came to the house there and you told me to take 5,000 and you suggested, and I told me, you suggested that I take 5,000 and diversify it. And I did, I did that, right? Um, I had to keep taking money and moving money. Let's put it that correct, way. Right, correct. Right? So being that I was doing that and, and, uh, uh, um, and especially somebody mentioned Tango Delta earlier, right? Okay. <laughs> you know, um, so I haven't been able to, to, to do the one third rule yet, but I like where I'm at. I know. No, no, no. I love where I'm at. <laughs> okay. I love where I'm at. Like, so hopefully now, uh, um, going forward, we'll, um, and I say we, cause I include Darlene, we'll be able to start to, that one third rule. I'm looking forward to that. Wonderful. So in your instance, you've been doing parts of it. Because you've been making money in something, but rolling yeah. it into other things to satisfy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and see, yeah. You, you, you're 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 retired. Um, right. You know, you don't have these small kids in the house and things of that yeah. nature. So, you know, the one third rule had to work for my family because we still got kids going to college. We got right. a right. debt we had. You yeah. know, you know. But watch this. I, I'm and I'll say this in existence within the next year and a half. That house will be paid off. Uh, that's what you know. It's funny you said that, Darlene. She's 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 not feeling well, so she was leaving work early just before we got on. She called me and said, "Man, my mom went home, whatever." And so we was talking about 
getting stuff paid off, right? And she said, I said, yeah, the house and the two vehicles. And I said, you know, the other stuff is just regular debt. I heard somebody speak on that earlier, you know? So she says, she says, wouldn't that be awesome, babe? We could pay that house off. Wouldn't that be awesome? I said, yeah, it would be. I said, we're going to start working on that now. Yeah? It is. It is a wonderful yeah. thing. Yeah, the, the other gas and lights and all that stuff, that's just any everyday living experience. Right, right, right. Uh, Right. Wow, this is cool. This is cool, man. I, again, um, I know some of our family members will be watching this. I'm going to share this in the Cooper family reunion um, place so so they can see it. Right, you know, right, this, right. This, this, this is amazing. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so here, here's some things because you're, you're, you're very wise um, in many different ways. Um, and to be able to pretty much reinvent yourself in a platform that you really had no knowledge of, you know, I'm sure we hear about crypto and stuff like that, but really no knowledge of like some of the young kids with technology. Um, what would you say to a person your age? Or what would you say to somebody who's looking at UIGI and they're thinking about it, they're watching this video, but they don't know? Yeah. Uh, um, what would I say? You want what I want, you got to do what I do. Mm. You know, um, this is what I got through UIGI, uh, big surprise coming up, I got through UIGI, you know, um, uh, there's nothing like this, nothing like this. Uh, and, and, and I'm like you, I can't understand, you know, well, we talked about it briefly earlier, why family members, man, wouldn't want to come aboard, man. but we talked about it a bit, uh, you know, mm -hmm. You know what I, you know, this is what I predicate that too, because I've struggled with that for years, right? Um, I really, 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 really struggled with it, especially when I joined other companies. And I didn't struggle with it because I was never that person asking people to support me in business. That's that I didn't struggle from that aspect. But I thought I had found the the golden goose. And yeah. it working for me, I wanted to work for everybody else. Right. And and I'm one of my good friends' name is Alex Week Battle, you know, because you saw how aggressive I was about trying to get people on different platforms. He said, look, Rabu, everybody's doing good in their own right. Mm -hmm. And you have to respect that, you know? And, and I really had to take a back seat and say, okay, everybody's doing good in their own right. And I kind of yeah. I kind of pulled back when it was to try to get pe family members into sales opportunities. Because yeah. people don't like sales. Right. But when this came about, I said, wait a minute, we don't have to sell anything. We don't have to talk to anybody. Somebody could take some money that they're going to go spend at Red Lobster or the Cheesecake Factory or, or Morton's or Capitol Grill and play in these phases and eventually ride off in the sunset. But it still boggles my mind. People don't. Well, let, me, let me say this, Rabu. I'm 100% disabled veteran, right? Okay. So the VA takes care of me. I get a nice check. Nice check. My check is more than some guys that work 25, 30 years and get a pension, right? My wife is a nurse. You know, I see more about that. We're doing okay. Right. Right? Uh, 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 but does that mean that I'm going to turn down an opportunity like UIGI Social Club International? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Because there's still a lot of things that I would like to do in life before my turn comes up. Right. You know, I'm trying to get my wife to retire now. The job is killing her, bringing her down, trying to get her to retire. Quit. Let's travel. The, the plan was to come to Florida. We next to cruises two hours away from Miami and the Fort Lauderdale. You know, and we're going to supposed to be doing cruises and enjoying life. Right. My house, I don't have to pay property tax. Right. Because I'm 100 percent disabled vet. You talked about college. My son just graduated college. Right. He got a check every month for going to college because I'm a hundred percent disabled vet, right? So you know, I, you know, I, I I'm good, I'm good. But when this opportunity with UIGI came about, now I'm not only good, I'm better. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm I'm better, and and some of those dreams and things like that I can accomplish. You just said it by speaking to existence. I've had this is my second house. I never own the house though and you in a year and a half i own a house i own this house wow wow and i'm a late bloomer right i'm a late bloomer i started late you know what i mean and i'm, I'm gonna own my own house in a year and a half i'm gonna put it out there too <laughs> absolutely absolutely wow. this is awesome this is awesome you know 
This is my last interview for the day, and they're all great, but you know, this one holds a special place in my heart, and I'm, and I'm glad that we've had a chance to do this interview. Um, so for me those too. who are watching, you know, well, let me ask you one, one, one thing you say to anybody who's watching right now before, before we close out. Um, one thing, one thing. Um, this is a, a, a great big family. We are family, right? It's all love, right? And positivity is a must, right? Everybody's positive, everybody's joyous. We, we, we share ideas, we share values. Um, like, I, like I said earlier, I gained a friend, Bobby Blackburn, right? We're friends, right? And he's my, he, he's my namesake. I'm 20 years older than him, right? He's teaching me. So each one teach one, right? You know, I mean, and it goes on and on. You said one thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Well, hey, y'all, for those who are watching, you know, if there's anything that Sadiq said that you could relate to, whether you're in the military, whether you're in education, okay, whether you practice Islam, whether you practice Christianity for that matter, it doesn't matter, whether you don't know much about computers, okay, if there's anything that he said that resonated with you and he said some amazing things, reach out to him. Send them a message. Say, I want to get involved with UIGI. How can I get involved with UIGI? He'll be here to help you. And he has assistance to help as well. And so I'm just excited, man. This, this is awesome. Just, I can't wait to see you. Same you know, here. Week or so we're going to have a good old time. Looking forward to it. You know, tell Darlene I said hi. I know Sherry and the girl says hi, man. We love you. And we'll catch you in a little while. Love you too, cousin. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.